Hey, Bree, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Hey, I have a customer that's interested in a Unity scheduler and was wondering if you could whip up a quick demo for them. Yeah, of course. Just give me a second. I have a new task group within Unity Management Console that I would like to use to run my workflow timers. In order for these timers to run, I need to create a new Unity Scheduler service instance associated with this task group. This is done via the command line, but I prefer to write it out with a notepad first. To start, we need to enter the path to our Scheduler service executable. This is typically found in the C drive, Program Files 86, Highland, Services, Unity Scheduler. I'm going to go ahead and copy out that path and then I'm going to enter in the executable name which is highland.core.scheduler.ntservice.exe. Make sure this path is within double quotes. Next we'll enter the command which is flash create. From here, to create the new instance, there are four required parameters. Dash SN is going to be the service name for our new service. I'm going to enter Highland Unity Scheduler dash workflow timer. Next, we need to enter OBU, which is the on base service account that will be set up for this service. In my environment, my service account in Ambase is called OB service. Next, we'll need to add the OBP parameter, which is the password for the specified Ambase service account. The last of the four required parameters is OBD, which is going to be the name of your Ambase um, ADO.NET connection string. Now, the next parameter is OBG. While this isn't required, if you don't provide a value for OBG, the service that you create will run the tasks for the unassigned task group. In this case, we want it to run for our workflow timers task group. So I'm gonna indicate that name here. Now, beyond this, there are five optional parameters. Dash DN will be the display name that shows up in the Windows Services um, list. So I'm going to just change my service name a little bit. Highland Unity Scheduler Workflow Timers. If you don't specify a value for display name, then it's just going to use the service name in that first parameter that we provided. Next is DESC for description. So this is gonna be the description that shows up in our Windows services list. I'm gonna say Island Unity Scheduler Instance to run workflow timers task group. Now the next three parameters I'm choosing not to include, but they are dash U, which is if you'd like to run your Windows service under a domain account, make sure you include both the domain and the account that you'd like to use. Next is P, which is going to be the password for the account that you indicated in the U parameter. And lastly is ST for startup type. This can either be A for automatic, D for disabled, or M for manual. If you don't include this parameter, it's going to default to manual. And if you don't include a username for the U parameter, it's going to default to local system. Now that I have my command ready, I will launch command prompt as an admin. I'm going to copy over my command and press enter. As it runs, it's going to show me 
the different steps it's doing and I will get confirmation that the command has finished. To verify this, I'm going to open up my services to see if my service is there. And there it is. That's how you create a new Unity Scheduler instance. Hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our free training resources. And make sure that you reach out if you have any questions that you'd like featured in an upcoming episode of The Question Corner.